guys, it's been ages. Um, I'm not a newbie here in the YouTube world, but um, just in case this video goes viral, I'll introduce myself first for those who haven't seen me before. I'm Lily. I live in Auckland, New Zealand. I was born in South Korea, but moved to New Zealand in July 2018. I've been mostly working in hospitality as a barista, but sometimes I made money from making promotional videos on YouTube and also I uh, freelanced for some video related projects on the site. Yeah, this is all for now and I'm pretty sure that you guys are wondering about <laughs> who on earth this girl is. So, Rachel, can you please introduce yourself? Yep. Um, hi, I'm Rachel. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Um, I came to New Zealand last February as a working holiday. And I've been staying in New Zealand for one and a half years now. Well, actually, as a working holiday visa, I was supposed to be here only for one year. Yeah. But, you know, the whole big COVID thing has changed things a lot. So, as a part of it, New Zealand immigration has extended the visa. So that's how I could stay here longer than I was planning to. Yeah, and also, lucky. Yeah, I was lucky. <laughs> and also I got to meet Lily here. Lucky as well. <laughs> so now I'm a member of her study group, which we'll be talking about yeah. today. But I just decided to go back to Korea. <laughs> so Lily was asking me for this interview before I'm leaving. Yeah, that's why I'm here. So I'm here today for talking about like working holiday in New Zealand, yep. English as a learner, and of course about the study group mm. we've been doing together for six months. Mm. And just before we start, mm. just for your information, <laughs> I'm that kind of person who is super awkward and nervous in front of cameras, as you can see me now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but I will be trying my best today. So please go easy on me, guys. Even if I'm not good enough. Yeah, I'm just hoping this interview will be going well today, cause it could be the first and the last time for me to speak in English, especially in New Zealand. I hope you guys can enjoy this video as much as I do today. Cool. Have you done shadowing before in Korea? To improve your English skills? Uh, yeah, kinda. You know what? That people just turned off music for us, I think. Really? Yeah. Mm. Turned off all of a sudden. No. Oh, <laughs> oh. You're so kind. Yeah, yeah I know. Thanks, thanks Gloria Cheese. <laughs> Shout out to Gloria Cheese. <laughs> You know, just before I came to New Zealand, I was so nervous and anxious with my English. Mm -hmm. You know, once you got here, you you gotta survive with your English. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah. survive. Yeah. So yeah, so I just started to shadowing with friends. I mean, the TV show Friends. Yeah. I've been always big fan of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, even so, I'm done with only like three or four episodes at that time because oh. it was just boring oh, really? even I was yeah I was a big fan of it when it's, it turns out to the like study it's not yeah. it's not really interesting <laughs> anymore so when you chose to study something then it got be boring yeah I know, I know yeah. <laughs> that's right how have you been studying English um, on a working holiday in New Zealand to be honest I'm not that person who is taking advantage of being here really well. Mm -hmm. You know, most people think it's way better and way easier to improve your English when you're abroad. Yeah. I can't say it's wrong, but I think it totally depends on what kind of lifestyle and personality you have here. Yeah. So for me, I'm not that outgoing or like that much of people person, mm -hmm. especially in New Zealand. Yeah. So Especially in New Zealand. Yeah, I'm better when I was in Korea, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with people. Okay. Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. so I don't think there's something special about studying English here for me. Mm -hmm. I don't even have any Kiwi friends. Yeah. <laughs> I think it could sound like a failure or pathetic to somebody, mm -hmm. but, but still it's just true. I can't lie about that, right? Yeah. yeah. So okay. I'm just watching some YouTube mm -hmm. and Netflix mm -hmm. at home. Mm. But I think um, it's good to be here to use what you learned from some videos on Netflix or yeah, I know. YouTube. Yeah. Then don't you think a working holiday is 
good for learning a new language? Oh, yes, I think so, but... Uh, it depends. Yeah, it depends. Mm. It totally depends on what you do here, what you think here, what kind of person you meet here. Mm -hmm. yeah. About the shadowing class, uh, what did you find the most helpful and fun? Well, the best thing about shadowing together mm -hmm. is you have someone to see you, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. So That's what I aimed for. <laughs> All right, yeah. yeah. Actually, when you do it by yourself, mm -hmm. it's really easy to just quit like I yeah. did, right? Mm -hmm. But when you have someone to show your, show what you practice mm -hmm. and show what you study, then it's not that easy anymore. Yeah. So, and I think it's definitely a good thing for you. Uh, kind of good pressure. <laughs> yeah, 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 good, good, yeah. good way pressure. I think <laughs> it's really better and amusing mm -hmm. when you act like actors right. from yeah. that TV <laughs> show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. do play. At first, <laughs> we um, do play yeah, it during was kind of cringy, but yeah, yeah. yeah, now it's all yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny. I mean, mm -hmm. fun. So yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, and also funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when someone is really um, deep in the action. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. I, I almost be Phoebe. <laughs> Not into study. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> now I can see you um, being Phoebe. Okay, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, that I know, I know. Yeah, it's yeah, also yeah. like Phoebe. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find difficult in shadowing class? I don't know, maybe when actors talk too fast to catch it, even yeah. when I play it like a thousand times. <laughs> when we all can't find any proper or mm. correct meaning for some lines, yeah. even we Google it or even we had a kind of discussion about yeah. that. Yeah, that happens during the study. Mm. It's just phase of study though, but yeah. it makes me like frustrate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then, what is difficult when you study English in general? Actually, English is always just difficult to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but <laughs> when it comes to studying English by myself, having this kind of feeling like, oh, I can't be as good enough as I wanna be someday, mm -hmm. that kind of feeling makes me wanna like uh, depressed. <laughs> yeah, depressed and discouraged, yeah. of course, and just stop, stop studying. Yeah. And, just give up. I think that is kind of on and off like period. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I have English period. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard to ignore or just pass it. Yeah, and I make mistakes. Mm. Sometimes it makes me like, laugh, mm -hmm. just laugh, yeah. and then just be cool yeah. about it. But sometimes I feel really depressed mm. and I don't know I can't control the feeling mm. <laughs> you gotta go for it I know I know yeah. just keep doing it yeah that. there's no choice I know. <laughs> we gotta survive yeah. <laughs> I've been working as a barista for ages and while I worked at a cafe um, I made a lot of communication issues mm. and I think there's a lot of reasons for that happening I might not be good at listening or speaking. I might not know about some slang, idioms, or expressions. Yeah. And one day I was working with this manager and she asked me, uh, Lily, do you want to wipe down the tables? I was exhausted. I had been in New Zealand for six months at that time. So I got the expression just as it is, as it was, like directly. So I was like, no, <laughs> and her face was like, oh, oh wow. Yeah. For those who don't understand the situation, so she asked me to wipe down the tables. <laughs> yeah. She didn't ask me if I want to wipe down the tables. Mm. The question was like, can you do it for me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then after that, I heard the same expression from another person. Mm -hmm. So I got that expression. Okay. Yeah. And do you have any similar experience? Yeah, yeah, so of course. Actually, too many things to tell you here. Yeah. This customer mm -hmm. was looking for like Coke, no sugar. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was coconut sugar. Oh! So yeah. I was like, 
sorry, we, we don't have that coconut, coconut sugar. sugar. I thought it was yeah. kind of name of slice, you know, coconut mm. sugar, like coconut yeah. chocolate. We yeah, have that yeah. kind of thing. And I think coconut sugar does exist in the world. Yeah, yeah. right. So I thought at the time her face was like, what? <laughs> you don't have coke here? Coconut <laughs> sugar? No, it was so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. And actually I have another one. Mm -hmm. I went for an interview for like hotel, which okay. was so far away from city. Mm -hmm. It was on the top of mountain. In Oakland? No, it's in Napier. Oh. You have to drive through the mountain <laughs> until you get here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like long journey. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the manager there just asked me about like how did you find coming here? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, uh, of course Google Maps. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, how it, did you find? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you find? I didn't know about that time. Yeah. But I found out that means like how do you feel yeah. about coming or the way up mm -hmm. here because yes. it was on the top of the yeah. mountain, right? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, my interview failed. I think that happens to every yeah. non-English speaker. I know. Yeah. So I think the most important thing about that is just how to handle that yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. You could take it as like just embarrassment, mm -hmm. but you could take it like um, as a learning. Yeah, as right? a new thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now you are going back to Korea. Right? Yeah, yeah. Do you have any plans to study English back in Korea? Mm. Actually, making plan is my plan. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah, but I just found out that I definitely need a kind of record myself. Okay. I think it could be related to the answer what you asked me mm. for, like what kind of difficulty do you have in English and yeah. studying English? Yeah. Yeah. So I can't feel myself improving mm -hmm. so that's why I decided to make kind of record mm -hmm. something like blog or some could be film mm -hmm. oh it reminds me of Yu Jae-sok's story I and mean, he was not famous okay. um, he tried to uh, film himself to improve his speaking skill oh really yeah in front of the camera because oh. yeah I remember that he said um, he was kind of nervous at that time, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's gonna be a good plan. Oh yeah, yeah. good method. Yeah, right. I will be you just hope in English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think if there's a graph improvement is here, and the x axis is like time, mm -hmm. then it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So many people say like that. Yeah. Uh, improving is like steps. Yeah. Not like. Yeah, yes. not steady. Yeah, yeah. So I need some record to see myself improve. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, um, this video is kind of a challenge for me too because mm -hmm. I think some of might know that I've already done some interview videos but it was not like today's video mm -hmm. because when I did the previous videos mm -hmm. before shooting, I made a script and then I sent it to the people that I was gonna interview mm -hmm. and then they also could make some answer script it was kind of like acting mm -hmm. <laughs> interview yeah. acting yeah um, they knew what i was gonna ask and i also knew what they were gonna mm. answer but today you're just talking very <laughs> naturally <Freestyle>. yeah <laughs> yeah this video is my new step oh, actually. yeah actually that's yeah. nice yeah <laughs> Before we finish, could you give some advice to people who are planning a working holiday in New Zealand? I'm pretty sure all of you guys already have good enough information and advice here and there, yeah. but uh, you never know what you will get and lose here until you will try it. There's no failure or success here. There are people who have their own stories, so when you try it, you will have your story. Yeah. I think that's what a working holiday is. Mm, yeah, that's okay. all I can say yeah. to you guys. So just go for it. <laughs> yeah, just go for yeah. it if you want to. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you want to say something to your future self? You know what, actually, I don't like this question <laughs> because it's too it's like a, a, yeah, yeah. It's like a Korean Yenin style. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, uh, oh. can you do Yongsan <laughs> Well, I don't know. Just I just want to say like uh, keep studying English. <laughs> 
I hope you can do whatever you want and you wonder even when you are in Korea like you are doing in New Zealand oh. <laughs> that's all cool oh that's cool all right I think this is all for today <laughs> yay yeah. thanks for being here today Rachel no worries and uh, we hope you enjoy your life back in Korea thank well. you yeah. and thanks for watching and hope you guys like this video and if you guys have any questions to me or Rachel, please leave a comment and we'll reply as soon as possible. And don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye! bye, -bye.